Three weeks ago, the Dallas Fuel won the first Overwatch League tournament, the May Melee, after a fantastic run beating the Shark, the Outlaws and the Dragons. During the final match, the entire roster had a brilliant performance, granting them victory. Today, I want to focus on the flag support fielder. Currently holding the rank 1, he mostly played Ana and Mora throughout the series, but we are going to take a closer look at his Baptiste. The Dallas team took the long rotation in order to flip sides, granting them some of the defender's advantage and space to get a hack off. Already, you can notice that Fielder never reloads when his teammates have the smallest chance of taking any damage. Just look at the entire sequence. Baptiste is not just a healer, he is a hero with a lot of playmaking ability. You can alternate between healing and shooting at any point, so when you have the opportunity to eliminate someone, go for it. Just don't forget to heal your team at the same time. As any hero, you need to be aware of your surroundings to make the best decisions. After noticing the Zen's shots, Fielder immediately rushed at them. He proceeds to throw his lamp inside the room before anyone took serious damage. The reason is simple. In these conditions, his team will be able to pro at their heart's contempt. This allows them to play without restraints. Just stop jumping randomly too high or too often. It's a mistake bad players do up to low GM. By jumping that much or that high, you are giving your opponents the opportunity to kill you. Only use your exo boots to get to high grounds or avoid specific abilities like shatter, for example. The purpose could vary, but above all, you need to use it to self-sustain. Here's how Phil they utilized he got clipped by the tracer and then self-healed. The second time, thinking he would take the duel against the Wrecking Ball and knowing he wouldn't be able to hit his team at the same time, he decided to use his regenerative burst to fight off the ball. Papswindo is a decently strong ultimate which, as a downside, is immobile. Therefore, it is often used as a zoning tool. By passing it carefully, you can force all of your enemies out of a specific area. Here, it is the entire point. It allows Dallas to step on it and to eventually clean up the dragons. I'm willing to do more of these highlight analyses of the Overwatch League, but next time I'll try to explain advices in more details. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video, and I'll catch you guys next time.